Hey guys, Angus here. Got another Airsoft video for you guys. Today too, we got a video I haven't done in a while. That's an unboxing. Now today's unboxing is a bit delayed. The unboxing is from a Hong Kong based company that contacted me and a bunch of other YouTubers uh, way back in July. That site is Tiger111. HK, obviously standing for HongKong.com. There'll be a link down below in the description to, to their site. And like I said, they contacted me back in July, shipped the stuff out, and it never got here. So a bit of a shipping mishap, and finally got here today, October 1st. So just going to go ahead and do the unboxing here. As you can see, I've already removed the stuff from the packaging, being that it was just a little bit of bubble wrap and some, car and some cardboard paper, uh, so nothing too exciting there. We can just go ahead and see what was inside. These are three items they sent out to me for review, and let's go ahead and take a look at what they are. This is the original item that I was supposed to get. So we stop that from rolling. This is an Element 552 EOTech or Hollow Sight replica. Obviously not a real EOTech, it is a replica. Holographic sight for your airsoft gun. As you can see, bright on the box, Element bulb is going to drive me crazy. And when you open up the box, see what we have. Got a little bit of some nice black styrofoam covering. And underneath that, definitely some nice packaging. If it is shipping from overseas, looks like it's going to get here pretty safely. A little thing of silica gel, please don't do anything with that. Uh, appears you have a couple batteries in here for the site, obviously to power it, and then the EOTech itself. And this is actually quite nice. And the main reason I was interested in one of these is because I have my Tokyo Marui MP7, and really the only site that fits that gun for me is a EOTech or Hollow Sight replica. And the 552 looks pretty cool. Obviously it is in black, being that the MP7's black, not tan, therefore this would go a little bit better. They do also stock it in tan, and they have plenty of other hollow sight replicas there, 551's, etc. Anything you could really want. You have all the programmable buttons on the front of the site here. It's made of metal. Uh, I can feel a little bit of plastic down here towards this end. But overall, it looks rather nice. If you're interested in purchasing this, there's going to be a link in the description. I believe it runs you about $40 to $50. So pretty cheap, actually, if you're looking for a fairly solid replica. We'll obviously review that a little bit later in the week. Now the next item here, this just came packaged in a small little Ziploc bag. What this is, is it looks as though it's sort of a flashbang or a smoke grenade or something like that. And what you might be thinking of is maybe it's one of those BB containers they used to have. They always used to sell them. Uh, it's not one of those. What it actually is, is a gas can for in the field. How this thing works is this looks a little bit more tactical than, say, your average propane bottle or a big green gas can. So you could sling this on your loadout, pop it into a nice flashbang pouch on your kit, and it's much more compact and it holds gas. It has a fill valve at the bottom, so you take your regular propane or green gas can and fill it up, fill it all the way with gas. Imagine it holds quite a good amount. And then you go ahead, unscrew the top cap here, and as you'll see, there's a small nozzle so you can go ahead and fill up your gas pistol, your gas rifle, whatever you need to use in the field. And I personally think this is very practical, and I thought it was very cool. So you can look tactical but still have that gas on you uh, in a game. I think this will run you about $20 to $30. Same thing, there'll be a link in the description in case you're wondering it is constructed of metal. Now the next thing here, this is the big one. I believe this is made by Deep Boys, or at least they had it listed on, uh, under that company on their site. It's just a plain old cardboard box, little sticker on there, uh, peeling off. Box is a little bit dented up. You open it up, same deal as the site. You get some nice black styrofoam. Remove that, set that to the side. Here's what we got, and I thought this was really cool. What it actually is, is a grenade launcher shooting the Airsoft M203 shells that fits on an AK. You don't need RAS, it's made to fit on those wooden AKs, and I think it looks pretty cool. They had some pictures on there on the site that looked pretty interesting. Uh, it does come with a little M203 shell. This one looks a little bit different than what I'm used to. I imagine this holds maybe a smaller capacity, uh, but kind of looks cool. It is that metallic chrome color. It is metal, obviously. You fill it up with the gas on the nozzle and you would drop the BBs in like so. And then, of course, you have the actual grenade launcher. It doesn't appear like there's any instructions in here, so I might have a little bit of fun figuring out how this thing works. 
Uh, as you can see, it's kind of a almost complex sort of piece, and from what I'm seeing, uh, I thought you got an extra shell, but actually you don't. You just get the one. Uh, this would hook on to the front of your AK's barrel, and then you also have this sort of stubby grip here that you could reach for a grip and pull this big old trigger to obviously eject the load in that small shell. This is made of a good portion of metal. There's also a good bit of plastic on here. I know the por portion that I'm gripping right now is a nice rubber coating. Uh, it does have a little bit of weight to it, definitely up here in the actual loading mechanism where the shell would go, definitely would be a little bit heavier with the shell in there, but personally I think it's a pretty cool piece. Uh, this is actually fairly interesting. I can't wait to test it out and I imagine some of you guys can't wait to see that either. So with that being said, those are the three items I got. Uh, took a while to get here, but from what I'm seeing right out of the box, out of the shipping uh, container, actually look pretty nice. We've got the AK grenade launcher that'll fit on your standard non-railed AKs. Uh, we've got the gas can. You want to take this into the field a little bit more practical. I think that's really cool. And then we have the EOTech replica set over here as well. So be sure to look forward to all the reviews and the testing of this stuff. And with that being said, guys, this has just been Death Warrior Soft Unboxing. Little stuff from Tiger111HK.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe.